Hello friends, welcome to part 4 of HP CI Sync Tank Conversion Series and in this episode we are going to start from where we left last time. Now my glue gun is actually burned up so instead of glue gun I am going to use my soldering iron with this glue gun stick and you can say I will somehow manage uh, to fix it because now I have uh, not enough time to buy a new uh, glue gun maybe in future I'm going to uh, use double-sided uh, tape to stick the rubber tubes in its places so you can see the soldering iron is uh, doing pretty well now you can see I have already attached all the uh, rubber tubes into the cartridges just to see how it fits now I'm going to open up all the cartridges and I'm going to prime it So you can see uh, the rubber tubes are a little bit longer so I had to trim it down so that it doesn't uh, catches up in the sides of the carriage. After it's done I'm going to uh, prime the tube with the ink. So now you can say I am opening up all the cartridges and rubber tubes. So before priming it, I am going to open up the flow restrictor that you can see on the side of the ink tank and then I am going to open up all the plugged holes. But for now I am only opening one hole and I'm using uh, the syringe now by using the syringe I'm going to uh, pressurize the ink tank which will push the ink through the tube and it will come on the top of the elbow joint we can see the ink is flowing in Now right before the ink drops uh, starts dripping I am going to use the ink bottles. Actually uh, dripping is not uh, necessary but still I want to show you how the ink is flowing and it's flowing pretty smooth. I am satisfied with it. I'm going to fix the elbow joint into the cartridge. After that I'm going to fix the cartridge in its place. Now I'm going to do the same process with all the uh, ink tanks, all the separate ink tanks. If you want you can open all the uh, 
plugs from the ink tank or one at a time it's up to you now I'm going for the yellow And I can see the ink is flowing in right before it drips I'm going to you can see I just stopped it with my finger now I'm going to put it into the cartridge make sure you plug it in in the right place otherwise it's going to be a disaster now to provide additional support to the cartridge I'm using the empty cartridge box to keep it on top of the carriage now I'm going to do the same process with the cyan and the magenta now actually the ink is uh, dripping a little bit from the cartridge uh, head uh, so I'm using a tea plate and now I'm pumping it in when I uh, pump it more ink it's going to flow out more you can see here it's going to fill up from here and from the print head also it's going to drip out so make sure to use a plate or some sort of thing to hold uh, the cartridges so I've done all the uh, color um, color uh, ink tubes and now I'm, I'm doing the black cartridge you can see this is the hole where I'm going to see it's filling up So you can see it's actually filling up but taking a little bit longer time so finally it's done and everything is fitted Now looking from the side you can see how the rubber tubes are going to work around the carriage. So finally I managed to keep the rubber tubes away from the position sensing ribbon and the rod where the carriage rides. Here I am trying to simulate a printing when the cartridge moves back and forth so after that I thought to add a little bit more in uh, sorry a little bit more uh, glue on the top and that's why the cartridge started uh, blocking so the carriage started blocking so I had to remove the glue So I had to be very careful here because if I touch the tubes, rubber tubes with the soldering iron then it's going to melt and it's going to be a disaster. So after removing the excess glue now it's moving freely maybe in future I have to replace the thermal glue with double sided tape because double sided tape 
will do the job but at that time I didn't had a double sided tape in my hand so I couldn't do anything. So you can see the carriage all the way to the left. And how uh, the rubber tube plays when the carriage is moves, moving. You can see now the carriage is moving all the way to the right. And the rubber tubes are playing very well. So this is what I wanted for the rubber tubes to do when the carriage moves back and forth. Now finally I'm going to screw it in now. I cannot uh, turn upside down the printer because the cartridges are in so I'm going to uh, screw it this way by using the plier and the screwdriver bit and on the back side I'm going to use the entire screwdriver just lifting the printer a little bit high just tilting it a little bit so before moving the printer make sure that all the holes are plugged and the flow restrictor is on you can see here it's engaged and make sure that the carriage is on the left where there is rubber boots that is going to hold the printing head and it won't spill any extra ink if it flows out or overflows so after fitting everything now it's ready to be moved I'm going to take it near the computer and I'm going to print it now before printing we have to make sure one thing that is uh, keeping the printer and the ink at a certain level and make sure that the printer is always at a higher level than the ink tank you can see I have marked on the side with a marker pen saying ink level this is the level where the cartridge printing head is present inside the uh, printer you can see it's right here this is the level of the printing head on the cartridge and the ink tank should be below that now initially you have to keep both of them in a same level and then start printing and while you see that the printing is not good you have to lift the printer gradually and you'll see the printing is improving and in this way I have reached this level where the printing is fairly good now before printing make sure you have to open the plugs from the hole and then open the flow restrictor and then I'm going to print a test, a test uh, image a test page now due to copyright issues I cannot show you the images that I have printed before uh, while testing the printer so for showing you I have uh, done a simple image in Photoshop so as to show you how it prints and it prints fairly well just the same as a new cartridge should print now while printing if you lift the ink tank at a higher level the image is going to get uh, pretty over dripped with ink and it's going to overflow so make sure the level is right so friends this is it for the series i hope you like this video if so don't forget to subscribe like and share my channel i'll see you later